Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to create grid view using Flatlist in React Native. So in our previous video, we had created press effect and we had just created one simple temporary array of views. So now we'll convert that and we'll create a flat list and we'll modify this list item as well as um, the other part of the code as well to create the grid view and the grid view item so here you'll also uh, see uh, the the common issues we'll encounter and the way to fix it as well so here i'm creating the flat list and the flat list is a simple component uh, used for the efficient rendering of uh, the list items uh, which is specifically a large uh, array of items and it takes a data prop uh, here uh, is where we pass the list of items so I'm just gonna copy uh, this from what I had previously and then there is render item prop uh, which is used uh, to provide the, the list item view uh, which needs to be rendered for each uh, data item so I'm just copying it and to access the data item passed uh, by the flat list through this prop render item what I'm going to do is uh, uh, yeah, open the braces and <clears throat> in this I'll access item uh, index is not required so just item and so item is what we'll be passing to the image and here we don't need key prop um, because flatlist uh, is going to give us one more prop through which we're going to specify the key prop so i'll get rid of the key prop here and now uh, we'll give the pre, pre uh, key prop using the key extractor so again this is a prop uh, which uh, is used by flatlist and gives a callback uh, to access uh, the key uh, for each uh, the view it's going to render the list uh, view it's going to render uh, the list item view it's going to render so what i'm going to do is um, in the callback we'll get the index so we'll access the index and we are just going to return index here so this is a simple way of uh, specifying the key so in usually uh, what happens is we'll have uh, it within the each uh, list uh, object list item object will have one more id or a uuid or a other key or something like that which you can you know specify here instead of index and now yeah the other thing i wanted to show you is uh, the, how it's uh, different uh, here inside the, um, how you access the item inside the render item this is a common mistake we do so here you have to open the braces and then within that we are specifying um, item so we are kind of opening up the object and accessing the element directly uh, the other way of uh, doing it is instead of opening braces you can just call it as object and then here you can do uh, object dot item so this is that the this is one of the way so but the common practice is uh, open the braces and access the item and then just directly specify it so that's one of the thing i wanted to show you now since we have created flat list i'll get rid of uh, the array of views and let's see whether our flat list is coming or not as you can see we don't see our flat list uh, i guess it could be because of the container prop let's see will that fixes it so we still don't see that so what's the issue so yeah i think uh, this is the issue we are not returning we have missed the return uh, there so yeah that fixed the issue so now you see the item is not uh, occupying the entire width and <clears throat> that's because we have uh, specified a hard-coded width uh, for each uh, list item um, as 200 so 
so to fix that what we'll do is we'll pass flex equal to one and this should naturally usually should fix uh, the problem but since we are dealing with images here uh, what happens is the images are rendered with uh, by stretching it uh, to fit with the inherent width of the each image but that's not what we want so the uh, the other workaround is to pass null um, for the width prop and when I refresh you can see uh, this issue will be fixed and now uh, we have uh, the the normal list view what we'll do is we'll convert this list view uh, to grid view by passing one more prop called number columns provided by flatlist so what I'll do is I'll pass two so we should have a grid uh, of two columns and We'll just check by refreshing whether this is working so as you can see we are not seeing our list items and that's because the width is null so now uh, it's, it's not sure like how to the flat list doesn't know how to render and uh, render the item since the width uh, width of the each item is not known so to fix it what I'll do is I'll import the dimensions and I'll use the dimensions and fetch uh, the the width of the window and then we'll use the column value and divide the window uh, width by the column value to determine each uh, individual uh, width of the grid item so we have item width and we'll pass this uh, calculated width as a prop to our list item uh, where we'll uh, where which we can use uh, to provide the width value to the, the list item so as you can see I'm passing item width but we haven't divided it by the columns so since we are using two columns so I'm dividing it by two so for the future sake what I'll do is I'll put the number of columns inside the state so column columns equal to 2 so then I'll access my state and then I'll use this uh, state value and pass it to the prop so the one benefit is I can change it one place in my state and everywhere it will get reflected and it's it's better um, way to do it than hard coding it I feel so let's see whether that fixed the issue so we still don't say it that's because we have not accessed the prop and you know change the width equal to null in the image component so item width equal to this dot prop so we are accessing the item width from the props and then we'll just pass the item width here so the width of the image will be the half of the window size so we got the grid view it's perfect but there is a slight problem that is um, you can see on uh, the the right image is actually touching the window and if you can guess that's because uh, when we calculated the item width we have not considered the margin of the the grid item so to do that uh, to fix that what we'll do is we have to consider the margin value while we calculate the item width so whatever the item width we have we'll subtract that with the margin which is 5 but since there are two items and and each item will have a margin of 5 in either side so we need to give 10 right so let's give 10 I refreshed but still we see the problem and that's because we have not considered the, the other side margin of the grid item so let me fix it so now the item width is going to be 20 uh, item width minus 20 so you can see now the items are rendered properly with the appropriate uh, item the grid item width and also the margin is also there so 
now that we have this working so let's go and change the column size to 3 and let's see whether that's working so again we encountered that problem and so let's fix this permanently so each grid gonna have 10 as margin 5 in the either side and then we're gonna multiply that by the columns total number of columns and this should fix it permanently and now if you go ahead and change the number of columns to 4 it's still gonna work fine uh, without you making any more changes so that's it guys for this video and if you have been watching thanks for watching subscribe for more videos if you have not subscribed yet and let me know uh, if you have any queries and till next time have fun coding and thanks for watching.